Hello everybody. I thought I would do just a quick setup video on my MST CMX Jeep YJ. So everyone recognizes the body. Uh, it's a Tamiya YJ body. Um, quality goes without saying. Um, except for the mirror I just knocked off. <laughs> um, it's got the RC four wheel drive clear windows because eventually I'm, I'm going to try putting an interior in this. Um, it's got the die cut emblems on it. Um, that I ordered from Germany somewhere. They're really awesome, self-stick, and just look great. Um, let me take the body off real quick here, and I'll show you what's underneath. So we have, sorry about my arms. All right, so here's the, uh, the chassis. <clears throat> I'm running um, SPC Racing 2S LiPo. Uh, these are RC channel, I believe, uh, 1.55 wheels with RC four-wheel drive hubs. And these tires are IROC Super Swampers, uh, also 1.55 size. Really, really great looking rims. Um, the shocks were some shocks I got off of eBay. They were like 20 bucks for the set of them. They were all blue. They were kind of nasty looking, but uh, spent some time polishing and, and taking the amortization off of them. And they kind of came out looking like King shock uh, replicas or a mimic of them, whatever you'd like to say. So I've taken the servo uh, off of the chassis and um, what I've done, or excuse me, I've mounted the servo on the chassis, I've taken it off the axle. And what I've done was just uh, was just made, this is uh, the plate that holds the servo itself right here. Um, and I got that on eBay, it was like nine bucks, it was for an SCX-10. Uh, it was just labeled a, um, a chassis mounted servo kit. So, um, so I got that, I lopped the front of it off so the, uh, the Jeep body would, would fit on here, right? I did kind of a nasty job, I'll clean that up. Um, but that works. And then this battery plate was just an eBay thing, uh, again, cheap, that I, uh, I cut up and made to fit so I could keep the battery mounted where it was. I like the front end weight bias. Uh, move it back a little bit, just to, just to give it a little bit more back here in the middle as well. But um, really like the balance, really like the setup. The, ch the plate bolts right up to the cross member here that goes between the rear of the shock hoops. The same with the, the battery tray. I mean, one screw holds it all together just in the factory points where you would have mounted your receiver box. Uh, I'm running an Axial AE5 uh, speed controller and I'm using an HPI Wheelie King waterproof water box off of uh, off what used to be on my CC01 chassis. Um, Moving underneath, dropping all my body grommets. Let's see if I can get this to focus. So underneath, um, again, I'm running all the all the MST factory hop-ups. All the links are MS, the, the MST slash Ansman parts, as well as the steering linkage, um, all the same stuff. Uh, I like it when things just bolt right up and look clean and match. And I've made stainless steel brake line and all thread links before and for some reason they always look like crap when I turn them when I put them on so I just spent the extra money and got these links and they're they're great they fit right up to fit the Jeep boss body I had to put some links uh, some aluminum spacers in the front links uh, so there's probably about six millimeters at each end the red ones there and the silver ones stacked together there um, to move the wheelbase forward the drive shafts are probably my favorite part of this truck because it took so long to figure out what to replace the plastic ones with um, and the pla plastic ones turned uh, turned into junk within a couple of runs. They twisted themselves to death. So I got these. These are Voodoo Racing, or Boom Racing, excuse me. Uh, Boom Racing, you can see there if this will focus. Boom Racing Voodoo Shocks. Um, very cool looking. Tolerances are really tight. The price was right. They were, they were, they were pretty cost efficient. Um, I used both uh, front and back 89 by 102 millimeter size. Uh, the back one had to be chopped down by about six millimeters um, to allow for full articulation, but otherwise um, the front one fit right on there just the way it was supposed to. And finally in the front, I'm running a three link setup with a pan hard bar. And I'm using the STRC upper pan hard mount, which is right there you can see by the shock. It mounts actually to the, to the shock tower itself. And I gotta say, I don't like it. I don't, I don't know why. They designed it this way, where it sticks out, but 
Um, it interferes with the tire, as you can see. You know, just as soon as you compress it, it goes right in. Um, so that's that's kind of a pain in the neck, and that's you know the next thing on the to-do list is figure out a, do, a different mount. Um, the pan hard bar itself, you can't really see; it's very thin, but it's just a piece of three millimeter rod uh, between a couple of rod ends. And I mounted the lower mount. You can't really see it; it's the lower shock mount on the outside there. Um, and that's that. That's as easy as it is. It's simple. Um, again, I'm using the factory body mounts, um, again, because they bolt right up and they're easy, easy, easy. Running a 27 turn to me a motor now. Uh, it's got too much wheel speed, um, but I, I can live with it. You know, just control the trigger finger, right? Um, but I'll probably switch that out for a 35 turn motor. I think it'll suit the gearing in this truck a little bit better. But, uh, but that's it. Um, Thank you guys and girls for watching my videos. Uh, thank you for your support and your kind words. I, they're very much appreciated. And I'm going to keep on doing what I love. And I hope that everybody watching keeps on doing what they love. Take care.